Hey guys, Warchild V1 here with some more Dark Souls. Um, I decided I'm going to do a very detail oriented walkthrough um, of Dark Souls. We're going to start from scratch and we're actually going to build the war build. But I want to make his skin a special color. Um, I don't know what color, but we'll, we'll find a funny one. So, let me grab my keyboard here. We're going to name him War Build. This is going to be a zero attune war build. In other words, no attunement slots. Um, eight attunement. Just because war doesn't need any magic, he's OP as it is. And um, we're actually just going to start with the old witch's ring, just so I can show you what it's for. We may go make one later or find one. Um, war. War build, he, he's a mid-roller, so I either want to make him average or large. We'll go with average. Face. That's exactly who I want to be. Alright, what we're going to do is customize him and change his color. So here's your first uh, tutorial. How to customize to weird blues and reds and stuff of that sort you change this all the way to different. You start off as the jubilant Katarina and uh, change the similar face thing all the way to different and start hitting random. And I don't think it's gonna work this time. Let's go back up, make sure that we're back to this guy and let's do some randoms. Eventually you start getting colors. Not yet. Here, let's go back up. Oh, here we go. We got like a dark purpley blue. Let's go with this blue. Oh, he's so weird looking now. Perfect. All right, let's accept. So that's how to build a blue character. Sometimes he's red, I mean, you know, it can change. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and no. of course, light and dark. No. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the day. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. 
the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. <laughs> next what I'm, I'm scared help me yes indeed the dark sign brands the undead and in this land The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. that for me alright guys so like I said this is gonna be a very detail oriented walkthrough um, therefore I'm gonna let the cutscenes play as they play now I do plan on being human like everywhere so I will always have a chance of being invaded I ain't scared so RB does your primary attacks. Your strong attack is the trigger. That's the strong attack. If you hold B or circle, you will run. And if you click your right analog stick, you lock on. Alright, enough of that. That's a little bit too much detail oriented. Orient or yeah, oriented something like that to that bonfire to recover your HP. I don't really need to, but I will. Just that way if I die, this is my hub. I come back here. All right, now one cool trick is, see that big demon up there on the roof? I see him. One cool trick is if you can kill him this first time that you encounter him, then you can have his weapon. Ow! And being a war build, I can I can wield his weapon. That's what I'm thinking. Should I even try? Man, I don't think I should try. But it's nice to know, isn't it? Yeah, I should get the F out of here. Thank you. So that's really what you're supposed to do is go this way. 
And I never light this bonfire. Never. I just... I never have. I have my first time through. So here's the first shield that you encounter in the game. Let's go ahead and get it equipped. That's cool. It already equipped the old witch's ring. That's funny. Alright. So now that we have a sword and a shield that works, now we're set and ready to go start up our war build. Our medium rolling war build. Medium roll, some people think it's nasty. I think it's awesome. I don't have any problem with medium rolling. Oh, I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Okay. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Why, thank you. Oh, and this. Now what? Now I must bid farewell. It's nice to meet you, sir. I would hate to harm you after death. I'm gone. I'm gone. So this opens a little shortcut. Oh, he just died. This opens a shortcut back to this bonfire. I don't really need to go sit at it. I could replenish my Estus flasks if I want, but there's just no need. So let's move on. This teaches you how to how to do a jump attack and a kick. Up, oh, I suck. All right. So this is where you learn that you can just roll right through arrows. Plunging attack. That teaches you how to backstab, and this teaches you how to parry, which all it is is timing with your left trigger. You just time it for his swing, and then you can hit your right R1 button and take care of him afterwards. That's how that works. Right inside this cage. When you come back, you will want to go that way, but first you need to get a key. We'll go over that in a little while. But that's where you get the rusty iron ring. We'll be back sooner than later, trust me. So this is like by no means a speed run or me trying to show off like a badass. This is me explaining the game. That way any of you newbies out there can learn every little detail that I personally know about Dark Souls. Um, I am kind of ridiculous. I have literally thousands of hours in this game. Like more than 2,000. I'd, I could look it up but I don't have the exact number on me. So I have much, much experience and um, I just want to share with you what I know. That's what this whole playthrough is going to be about. Good job. Go straight ahead. Now, right here, there's a shiny. I like to call them shinies. There's an item over here. Some people despise the word shiny, I hear. But that's the first uh, 200 souls that you can get just in, as a soul item. That's pretty useful. And there's a birdie over here. See that bird's nest? We'll go talk to we'll go talk to Snuggly here a little bit later on. That's Snuggly the crow. We will learn about Snuggly later. 
Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Lordran. There's the bell tower right there, the first uh, bell of awakening. There's the Hellkite Bridge. And there's Firelink Shrine. We were just right above the bird for a minute. Alright, so this is the start of Dark Souls. We have just finished the tutorial. But we're going to go a little further. I'm not going to make any short little dinky videos. Some of them might be short and dinky, but that's because this is a specific walkthrough. It's not just a playthrough. It is a walkthrough. So, right over here is some fire bombs for you. It's a good starting weapon to have against the first boss. Not th Well, the boss we just had, it would be a good weapon against as well, but... The Taurus Demon will be the first known boss, and that's that's where you go to get fire bombs, which will really help you with that Taurus Demon fight if it's your first time through. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Um, yes, I have business with you. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance, but I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. Well, thank you for the copper coin, but I'm not done talking. Oh my, you again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Yes, I want to know. Would that yes, please yes. you? Yes, I want to learn your miracles. Very well. Then first, a covenant with the god. Okay, let's do it. This is where you can learn... Now let me share my Your miracles. first miracles? Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts. All right, so... This is where you learn your first miracles and your first gesture. This is actually one of my favorite gestures. I love this gesture. Um, this guy sells the weaker of the faith miracles. Just so you know. Come again. The effectiveness yes, of yes. the Yes, yes. It depends on your faith for how, how well miracles work. Uh, but that's one of my favorite gestures. I love the shrug. So, now I have shrug. Let's go this way and get some other good startup items. Right off the bat, there are some good startup items. This will eventually be an elevator shaft, but it's not yet. Alright, so right off the bat, you can get six homeward bones, which take you to the last bonfire you sat at. Morning Star and Talisman, exactly what Petrus of Thurland was just holding. Four cracked eye orbs. So if this is his keepsake, this is his stuff, it's, it's the stuff he uses, what's he doing with cracked eye orbs? Could he be a little bit off? A little bit mean, maybe? There's something up with him, right? and Lloyd's Talismans. Those, you can throw them at people and it makes it to where they can't use an Estus Flask. Can I beat these guys yet? Oh. No, probably not. I just want to get my items. Alright, so we're going for the shield right here. Oh, this isn't the shield. That's just a soul. There's a shield right down here. I want this. 
sweet. I love that shield. It's so cool looking. And green's like my favorite color. We're also going to get this white hander and the binoculars while we're at it. Just because I want them. And besides, this Y is an awesome weapon. It's a great sword. Get it? Get it? It's a great sword. You get it? In case you don't know what it is, I'll show it to you here in just a little bit. Alright, now we have everything that we need. Let's go. Um, these guys are way tougher than I am. They'll just rape me if I try to fight them, so... I'm just going to book it out of here. There's the winged spear, by the way, in case uh, you didn't know that. And there's more soul items right over there at the end. Right there. Mm, right down there. But I'm not going to grab them right now because I'm being chased. I'm uh, trying to survive this. I really don't want to... Uh, have to fight all these damn skeletons. So that's some pretty good startup items, but that's not everything. Let's go get a little more. First, let's level up just a little, just because we have souls, why not? Because I'm gonna have to kill myself here on this next one. What do we start with? Um, let's start with uh, strength and one point in vitality. That'll be a good start. Alright, now let's go get our very first Firekeeper soul. That way we can make our Estus flask work a little bit better. The very first and easiest one to get right off the bat... See, I don't have a master key, so I can't take the shortcut to Blight Town like everyone likes to do. We're doing a detailed walkthrough, so we're going to take the long route to Blight Town. I have no shortcut. I have no master key. So, I expect to die here. That's why I just sent the elevator back up. First of all, here's your very first blacksmith. If you have items to upgrade right off the bat, if you have upgrade material... Hmm? Well, this is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well... I shouldn't pry. I'm Rickett of Vinheim. I was once an established... Can you believe it? Right. So this is the very first blacksmith. Mm. It's safe, although I must admit... I'll shut All right. Um, he can make magic weapons, stuff of that sort. We'll go over that here in, a little later in the walkthrough. Um, he can repair your equipment. He can... <laughs> I'm surprised that's even hurt. Um, he can upgrade to an extent. Just depends on exactly what you're trying to upgrade. But uh, I'm about to go lose the souls that I do have. First of all, let's go ahead and grab this. I like the S-Stock. I like the Rapier better, though. We'll probably end up getting a Rapier. I'm going to go ahead and grab these Transient Curses. So any time that you plan on fighting ghosts, which are the enemies that we're coming up on, you have to use a transient curse or a magic weapon. But uh, I say transient curse. So we don't plan on fighting these guys. I'm just trying to get past them alive so I can get this first firekeeper soul because that's it right there. There we go, we got it. Hell yeah. Now, I don't think I can make it back out alive, so... I'll try, though. I don't think I can get past all those ghosts. That's a lot of them on a thin walkway. Yep, alright. That was kind of expected. These guys are pretty damn tough. But all we lost was 149 souls, you know? That's just nothing to worry about, right? You can't buy anything with 149 souls. Alright. So now we have our first Estes Flask upgrade. There's a second one in Blight Town that's fairly easy to get to as well, but I don't have the Master Key, so... The 
this is a no master key playthrough. Alright, now I have an Estus Flask plus one. Estus Flask plus one. Alright, well we're going to go on and move on to the next bonfire before we uh, start another video. Can I wield this with two hands? No. Not yet. Oh, that sucks. So one easy tip for beginners uh, with Dark Souls. When you're a beginner, go ahead and block the first attack of your enemy most of the time. You want to block it and then attack. That's just the easiest way to start off on this game. Block their first attack and then attack them. Uh, he just gave me his back. Alright, so right over there is a ring of sacrifice. We're going to go get it. Alright. There we go. Ring of sacrifice. Let's go up here and head towards the Undead Berg. This is going to be fun, I think. I can hear that rat makes weird noises. Rats on this game make crazy sounds. They sound very evil. Alright, kill that rat. If you kill this rat every time you walk past him, you will eventually pick up humanity from him. Rats have a, a chance of humanity drop. Just so you know. Oh, I forgot to even become human. I will, though. Don't worry about it. I plan on kindling the bonfire. I mean, I don't know if I need to or not, but I'm going to. I, like, always do. Oh, shit, I couldn't get my riposte. Break these barrels your first time through and drop down there. We're going to do that here in just a second. We'll kill this, kill this firebomb chunker first. Alright. Now we'll go down that way. And on my Minecraft uh, Dark Souls world, I have this same jump. And it gives you useful items that you may need. guy, huh? Wow, he goes all the way around. I've never noticed that. Alright, you can't go up the stairs. I don't even know why I tried. I know you can't. I never noticed that the guy that was standing here runs all the way around and back to the beginning of the berg. I just noticed that for the first time. I don't believe there's any items in here. Nope. And there's rubbish right there, which... There we go. This rubbish actually can be useful. We'll just have to go over that a little bit later, so you might as well go ahead and pick up the rubbish literally rubbish. Sweet, now this is taking us to a humanity. Hey, there's that dredgling. Alright. So now, right off the bat, we have a good number of items to play with. decent 
start, I'd say. Soul of the Lost Undead. Some people can make this jump just by running and jumping. But there's a much easier way, I'll have to show you. Right through his feet, huh? Nice! All three at once. Got a hollow warrior helm. I'm super excited about that. Alright, so a lot of people may laugh at this shield over here. There's a nice shield over here. This is actually a decent shield. You'll see that there are actually people that PvP with that shield. Um, I do it every once in a while. Metalhead. A lot of people do. A lot of people. It's really a nice shield. Ah, oh. oh, shit. Oh. He almost fucked up my repost. Nice. So, let's come down here. Here is a merchant, your first merchant of the game. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> Alright, let's get... Some people start off with throwing knives. I don't really. Um, let's get an orange soapstone for writing messages. I would get a bottomless box, but I don't feel like spending a thousand on it. Um, I do feel like buying a rapier. I can't afford a bow. We'll be back. Oh wait, yes I can. Watch this. We have souls. There we go. It's not a whole lot, but it's souls. Now one cool thing is, if you kill him, you can have his katana. The guy does have an Uji katana. Ow, I, hope you brought I did, I brought some <laughs> more souls this time. He also sells the chain armor, by the way. But uh, what I came back for was, I want a bow. I like having a bow right off the bat. Off the bat, we're going to start with standard arrows. Just because I can buy a bunch. So that's a start. Oh, thank you. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and kill him because I want his katana. Gone mad, have you? I'll teach you, you Yulia! Yulia! Dude, I'm sorry, Yulia might be dead, dude. Why me? Alright, so we got the residence key, we got more humanity, and we got his katana, which I love one of the one of my favorite weapons. I mean, who doesn't like a katana, right? Some people hate katanas, but yeah, I can't wield it yet. That's too bad. Damn, I can't wield anything yet. We need to fix that, don't we? I like my longsword better than the the damn thing I've been carrying. All right, so you don't want to get all of their attention at the same time because dredglings all together can really suck all right took care of them 
All right, we're going to get the first crossbow now of the game, as well as some other little items. Throwing knives. That's a good start. All right. You run and jump. Come over here and go out this around this corner we have items a crossbow and 16 bolts right off the start of the game I like that but I already bought a bow so I'd rather have a bow Alright, so off to the bonfire. We've done everything before the bonfire that needs to be done in order to uh, have all the items and everything that we want. So that's a good start. I'm going to go ahead and get this bonfire kindled up. I need to burst one humanity. Alright, so we have to light the bonfire, sit at it, reverse hollowing, because you can only kindle a bonfire when you're not hollow, when you're in human form. Like now, we're no longer a crazy looking zombie. And now you can kindle the fire, which makes the fire a little bigger, which gives you more Estus flasks. Like so. So now every time you sit at it, you get 10 Estus flasks. What do you know? What a concept, huh? I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that, but for the guys that don't, there you go. Alright, well I hope you're enjoying my walkthrough. Um, brand new series i just decided to get it going hope you're enjoying it please comment like and sub and uh i'm gonna try to keep these things coming and stay as detail oriented as i can so thanks for watching this being one of them you need to grass up sir no not for you <laughs> <laughs> nice one, dude. Nice. Good game, sir. Good game.